we log on to Inovia with the user ng1 and the password. Now we make a search for our top part 732-1. The part window opens and we can select the boom power view to see what part it consists of. Now we can see what the top part structure looks like. A PCBA, software and other things belonging to the syllable part. The PCBA in turn consists of all the components in the design. The names come from the Alcium Vault in this case and here we can see the designators. Notice the 10 K resistor R9. It will be changed later and down here we have our PCB. We open the PCB part in a new window and from this view we can check out the project directly from the PCB part but we can also open the specs and documents and a page to view the Alcim project in the specification tab. Here we can see um, the Alcim project files. The name is Bluetooth Sentinel project files version 3, revision A, and which will be linked to Alcium. Now we check out the project files to our computer and start Alcium. And we are now in Alcium Designer. Here we are in Alcium with the project we just checked out and we have opened a schematic sheet. We can see the drawing header with the parameter names linked to Anovia. Anovia PCB name, which is the title of the PCB, Anovia PCB EAN, which is the name of the PCBA. We have the version of the PCB, the PCBA, and we have the revision and version of the project. The Anovia parameters will be updated when Alcium generates the outputs, but if I want them to be updated, Updated before that, I can click the update parameter selection in the Anovia menu and they will be fetched from Anovia. The part title PCB, the assembly name, and the project version is now 4. We had version 3 when we opened it, so next version must be 4. We will now change some resistors to see how it reflects in the bomb. Let's remove one resistor to change boot mode, and that is R9. And we will also add a pull-up resistor from the Alcim Vault. Replace it. Connects it to VDD and we connect it to PA0 line.
We will now upload our work to Anovia. Here we can see three different profiles, daily backup, documentation which uploads additional files, and the profile final which uploads all production files and as we can see down here it will extract the bomb from Altium to Inovia. We click upload to start the upload with the chosen profile. Now we get the window where we can enter some check-in comments uh, about the work we did. We click the continue button and Alcium starts processing the output jobs in the background uploading the generated content to the different Anovia objects. The status column shows the progress for each action. The components are now extracted to the bomb in Anovia and when finished the project is closed. Back in Inovia we expand the PCBA part and we can see that the boot resistor R9 is gone and moving down we see that the added res resistor R1 is visible in the bomb. If we open the PCB part and go into specs and documents we see that the new version is 4 as in the schematics. If we open the PCBA part we can take a look at some of the generated Altium outputs. Under specs and documents we find for example the schematic outputs in PDF format. And if we open it up, we can see the changes we've made. Here is the R1 resistor and here's VCR9 removed.